ahead of Joe Biden's speech Thursday night, formally accepting the Democratic presidential nomination. His running mate, Kamala Harris, made history Wednesday as the first woman of color to officially accept a major party's vice presidential nod. Let's fight with conviction. Let's fight with hope. The California senator urging Americans to vote for Biden in November's election while also taking aim at the current U.S. president. Donald Trump's failure of leadership has cost lives and livelihoods. Donald Trump hasn't grown into the job because he can't. Barack Obama also speaking during the third night of the DNC. Now, he broke from the traditional post-presidential protocol by criticizing his successor in what the New York Times describes as possibly the most comprehensive denunciation of one president by another in the country's history. For close to four years now, he has shown no interest in putting in the work, no interest in finding common ground, no interest in using the awesome power of his office to help anyone but himself and his friends. Then, just hours later, someone once close to Trump, his former top advisor, Steve Bannon, who's widely considered the architect of Trump's 2016 campaign, was arrested on a yacht in Connecticut. Bannon charged Thursday, along with three others, for allegedly defrauding hundreds of thousands of donors through a $25 million crowdfunding campaign to build part of the U.S.-Mexico border wall. Prosecutors say Bannon received more than $1 million. Now, the wall was a key Trump campaign promise. Well, I feel very badly. I haven't been dealing with him for a long period of time. I know nothing about the project other than I didn't like when I read about it. I didn't like it. I said, this is for government. This isn't for private people. And it sounded to me like showboating. Especially for Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Roger Stone, it's Michael Flynn, it's Rick Gates, Paul Manafort, Michael Cohen. What's it say about your judgment that these are the kind of people? Well, I have no idea. He then deflected to an attack on Obama. Then a short time later, Trump leaving the White House to hold a campaign event just outside Biden's birthplace in Scranton, Pennsylvania. On the same day as Biden's big acceptance speech and what the Associated Press says can only be described as campaign trolling. 75 days we're going to win this state. We're going to win four more years. Back to Bannon. As for the charges he's facing, one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering. If found guilty, each carries a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. Melissa Duggan, City News.